Steve Schnall, Jeff Schemmel with another AD update. And uh, when you talk big football games, I mean big, BYU, Saturday, 3 o'clock, Qualcomm Stadium, they're 18th in the country. We're feeling pretty good about ourselves as well. Well, I think so. I think, I think we feel like we're improving. Um, I think right now our defense is probably ahead of our offense and carrying us a little bit. But um, I, I think uh, Brady Hoke would say that he saw some good things, the, especially the last quarter and a half of our game against New Mexico State. And hopefully that carries forward. Uh, it's been nice to have a, a week off and get some people healthy. Um, and it's homecoming this weekend against BYU. And uh, we get to open up the new alumni center uh, here, the Parma Payne Goodall Alumni Center. And uh, it just promises to be a really fun weekend. You mentioned the bye week. I, I, I guess there's pluses and minuses to having the week off. You like to have momentum, but on the other hand, you like to heal. I think so, and I think uh, the best part is you you get to co you get to rest after a win, and uh, it's a heck of a lot better than resting after a loss. So uh, I think uh, you take advantage of that to uh, work on fundamentals and and do the things, get try to get better at things that you haven't done as well as you want to do them. So. Uh, I think the timing of the week off uh, and getting ready for the rest of the season was perfect. The the uh, the other football, soccer, uh, they are good seasons for both. The women, eight-game unbeaten streak right now, and the men tie the fourth-ranked team in the country in UCLA. Uh, terrific, and we talk about this on a regular basis, but to, I think the unbeaten streak for the women is uh, the best in a decade, maybe, for uh, San Diego State women's soccer. and. Uh, and I know even with that unbeaten string, uh, there were two ties that uh, I know uh, we tied BYU at the, at the end of that game, which was a terrific game, and then uh, frustrated a little bit because we outshot Utah 24-7 to and, and still it's tied. Uh, but I think great confidence. I can, in talking with Coach Friesen this week and getting ready for a, a big road trip at Wyoming and at, uh, at Air Force this weekend, um, I know they're very confident uh, and feel that they have a great chance to win our league. So um, excited about them. And then the men, of course, uh, we say it all the time, but they play in the Pac-10. And to uh, not only tie UCLA, but play shorthanded the last 28 minutes of that game uh, says a lot about where they've come uh, in the past uh, three weeks probably, and, and how well they're playing. And they, uh, they also have a, a, a big road trip this weekend. So um, it's, it's fun to watch those two teams. And uh, we're watching our men's and women's golf teams as well that are performing. I think our men are ranked 22nd now, and the women have just astronomically uh, uh, gone up in the polls and, uh, and, and have played very well. And, and that's a tribute to both Ryan Donovan and Emily Klein. Uh, things going well, as you mentioned, you know those four programs, and then there's there's two more that get started on Friday with uh, men's and women's basketball. And again, I'm not sure in our history we've ever had uh, our men's and women's basketball teams both picked, uh, at least by some publications, to win their league, uh, and at the same time. So uh, we had an event last night where we kind of kicked off the season, and uh, I think it was very well attended, and it was a terrific event and both coaches I think are extremely excited about um, where their teams are and, and excited about getting started on Friday. We have a, a big event on Friday that combines their first practices, the women at 6. Uh, both Beth and Steve will introduce their teams at 645 and then the men will practice at 7. And it also is an opportunity for uh, people who don't have season tickets to come in and uh, pick their seats. Uh, we'll, sh we'll show them what's available. And as you know, Steve, there's not a bad seat in the house in BA House Arena. So uh, it should be a lot of fun to, to not only show off our teams, but sell some tickets and uh, have some people see this, this, these two great teams that are going to be on the floor this year. There's absolutely nothing for me to follow up on. You have covered every... <laughs> there's no stone left uncovered. That's Thank my job. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Steve.